Thank you, Jesus. We are here at the high point of this celebration night. We are God's ultimate power shall be on display. When God brought in the blood, he brought judgment upon all the gods of Egypt. Tonight, the gods of Egypt shall be judged in your life. <laughs> For we pass through this land of Egypt this night. And I will smite all firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I'm the Lord. Tonight, every satanic stronghold holding anyone down in any form shall be judged. And that happened at the instance of the engagement of the Passover blood. We're here for the same. We have diverse documented testimonies that we don't have time to go through them. But the dead have been brought back to life through this mystery. Kidney has been restored through this mystery. Someone in Abuja going through um, dialysis three times a week. Jesus restored the kidney. Eight years of HIV AIDS disappeared. Through this mystery, heart palpitations ceased through this mystery. 21 year oppression terminated via this mystery. I will bring one more plague upon Egypt, upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt, and after that, it will let you go. Tonight, every foul force of hell holding any aspect of your life will let you go. Yeah. Now, I don't have any more after this. This is the only one thing I'm bringing. I'm bringing this one thing. After that, it will let you go. <laughs> Tonight, every hold of the wicked on your life will let go of you. Yeah. Will let go of you. We let go of you. Yeah. SS has been turned to A yeah. by this mystery. Everything called terminal disease in anyone's life shall be terminated tonight. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. It's your turn for a change of story. No mark of Egypt shall be left on your life. Yeah. The diseases of Egypt will know them no more. Yeah. Lift up your two hands. Jesus, I'm coming under the blood tonight. Let every mark of Egypt be off my life. Let every form of slavery, servitude, bondage be over in my life tonight.
in Jesus precious name we have prayed as soon as the blood came on immediately they were let go at the instance of the ministry of the Passover blood tonight you are going for free paralysis will disappear stroke will give way growth will dissolve pains will disappear Eyes will be open. Yeah. Ears will be open. Yeah. Cancer will be destroyed. Yeah. Jesus shall be glorified. Yeah. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and get seated, please. The pass over blood was initiated by God Himself. For the rescue of his people. Exodus 11 1. We saw it applied, Exodus 12 21 to 27, to be sprinkled upon the lintel of the houses. I will not swear the destroyer to come in unto you. It's a seal. Stay clear. No go area. Stay clear. No go area. Stay clear. No go area. According to scriptures, Christ is our Passover lamb. First Corinthians 5 7. And his blood is the blood of everlasting covenant. So it's not for a season. It's an everlasting covenant. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 20. Yes, that was spoken to the Jews. But every child of God is a spiritual Jew. Romans 2, 28 and 29. And if you be Christ, you are Abraham's seed, and he has according to the promise. Galatians 3, 29. So whatever I spoke to them, he has spoken to us. This covenant is a forever covenant. Exodus 12, 24 and 25. Exodus 12. And you shall observe this thing for an ordinance to thee and to thy sons forever. And it shall come to pass when you become to the land which the Lord will give you, according as he has promised you, ye shall keep this service. There are no I do statements in scripture. You only step into as far as your eyes can see. God showed me this the way he showed me all the other mysteries, which is the lot of apostles of Christ. They are custodians of the mysteries of the kingdom of God. Amen. That you have not seen it has not changed it. It's there. Forever. No careless statements in scriptures. Forever, this ordinance, forever, this ordinance, forever. We are face to face with this opportunity tonight. Ordained for our unstoppable rescue is God's last card that must always catch. Is God's last card. That cannot return defeated. This one plague, and it will let you go. This one plague, and it will let you go. 
This one plague and it will let you go. First John chapter 5, verse 7 and 8. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and this real one. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, the water, which is the Word, and the blood. And these three agree in one. These are the reigning forces on the earth. And these three agree in one. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 22 24, we saw the forces at work in Zion. He had come to Mount Zion, the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and the, to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, to, the, to God, the judge of all, and to the spirit of just men made perfect. And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. And to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. It's also least a last. It's God's last card that must always deliver. It's God's last card that was, must always deliver. When the blood of Christ was sprinkled, oh, oh, oh was drained on the earth, there was an earthquake and the graves were opened. <laughs> and the dead came forth after his resurrection. Every grave holding anyone bound tonight shall be opened. Yeah. There shall be a shaking of the kingdom of hell in your life. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. The foundation of the prison holding you down shall be shaken. Yeah. The doors there shall flung open. Yeah. And you walk gloriously into liberty. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. What is in the Passover blood? Number one, it keeps the destroyer at bay from our territory. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the destroyer, we have no more access to your territory. Amen. Exodus 12, 13. When I see the blood, I'll pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. Your territory becomes a no-go area for the devil. Yeah. Your children, a no-go area for the devil. Yeah. Your grandchildren, a no-go area for the devil. Yeah. When I see the blood, I will pass over. I will pass over. I will not let any destroyer come near your territory. Number two, it terminates all misfortune. All misfortune. All misfortune. They were under the heavy burden of the taskmasters. Their case was worse than slavery. But I will give these people favor. I will terminate their misfortune. I will bring them into fortune. And after the blood, the Lord gave them favor and despoiled the Egyptians. They were paid off for 430 years of slavery. Paid up in one day. Paid up in one day. Every form of misfortune around your life ends tonight. Yeah. Exodus 12, 36. It ends tonight. And I say, when you go, you shall not go empty. The blood will set you free, but you are not going out empty. 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 Going out empty. So every force that has made your life empty in one way or another, your business empty, your career empty, your family life empty. Whatever has made your life empty in any form by the mystery of the Passover blood tonight, uh, it is over. Yeah. Number three, it rescues from us a tiny stronghold of sickness, disease, and death. Second, second chapter 9 and verse 11. 
and 12. As for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, I've sent for their prisoners out of the pit where in is no water. Turn to your strong ye prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare, I will render double unto you. Whatever damage sickness has done to your body, double heads will come to replace it. <laughs> Whatever hell has done to damage any aspect of your life, there shall be resurrection of glory. <laughs> the gods of Egypt have come under judgment tonight. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb, by the word of their testimony. The blood of the lamb is the Passover blood. Even Christ, our Passover, the lamp of God, is sacrificed for us. Revelation 12, 11, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. Tonight, every song of hair hanging around your life, they are shattered. Amen. They are shattered in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Passover blood triggers instant deliverance. Exodus 12, 29-33. <coughs> Wherefore, Exodus please, And it came to pass at midnight, the Lord smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn Pharaoh that sat on the throne, not the firstborn of the captive that was in the dungeon, and not the firstborn of cattle. And Pharaoh rose up in the night and said, and all his servants and all Egyptians, and there was a great cry in Egypt. Your enemies will cry tonight. <coughs> For there was not a house where there was not one dead. And so he called Moses and Aaron by night. Can't wait till the morning. Rise up and get you from among my people, both you and the children of Israel, and go and serve God as you have said. You are going tonight. It's a weapon of instant intervention. You are going tonight. Yeah. You are going out tonight. Yeah. Your marital destiny is set to tonight. Yeah. Your business and career destiny is set to tonight. Yeah. Your children are set to tonight. Yeah. The crisis in your home, in your business is over tonight. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Instant deliverance. It's the blood of exemption from all evils of the day. Not one person died among the children of God. With the plague ravaging the earth today, as you come under the Passover blood, you shall be gloriously exempted. Amen. Exodus 11, 4 to 8. And of course, it's a night of judgment in the camp of your enemy. It's a night of judgment in the camp of your enemy. Yeah. All of Pharaoh, Pharaoh and the host of Egypt, perished in the Red Sea. <laughs> the host of Egypt that you see today, you see them no more again forever. Yeah. Even we have no more room to chase after you. They shall all be drowned in God's judgment. And what more, God will render double to you. Whatever you may have lost in the course of the battle of life, you are getting double back by this blood of strength. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. But why do we sprinkle people? False believers are God's building. We are the temple of the Holy Ghost. 1 Corinthians 3, 9 and 16 to 17. 1 Corinthians 6, 19, we are the temples of the Holy Ghost. 
Moreover, Moses sprinkled both the book and all the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant which God has enjoined unto you. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 19. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people according to the law, he took the blood of calves and of goats with water and scarlet wool and hyssop and sprinkled both the book and all the people, saying, This is the blood of the testament which God has enjoined unto you. Being temples of the Holy Ghost, we are to be sprinkled to keep the wicked off our territory. And when the wicked sees the blood, he will pass over. He can't enter in. There is no go area for him. It's your night. It's your night. It's your night. So, Get your faith on the line. It's going to happen instantly. Yeah. Your own will happen instantly. Yeah. Your own will happen instantly. Yeah. So to avoid assumptions, get a little piece of paper and write what must end this hour. What must turn this moment. What must be terminated this hour. With your faith, in God, in his word, in his prophet, you must return with your testimony. Because this hour is your hour. Your days of horror are over. Your days of torment and torture, they are over. Your days of satanic assault, they are over. Your days of harassment with death, they are over. Every death sentence shall be overturned tonight. In the name of Jesus. Do that quickly. What exactly must end tonight? No mark of Egypt is permitted to remain on your life and my life. What must end this hour? Jesus, I believe in the power of your blood for my escape. For my escape. I believe in the power of your, your blood for my liberty. I believe in the power of your blood for my being set free. Tonight is my night. I refuse to go back the same way I came. Tonight is my night. I believe you for it. Tonight is my night. I must be free tonight. I must be free tonight. The siege must be over 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 tonight. 1 Corinthians 3, 9, ye are God's husbandry, ye are God's building, and you are supposed to sprinkle the blood upon the lintel of your houses. We are God's building. As the blood comes on you, the wicked must pass over. You must have no inroad to your house. No destroyer must come near where you dwell. It's a brand new day for you. 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 As many whose hearts are open right now, your testimony is set. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody bless tonight. Can I hear your amen? amen. Somebody believes in the Passover blood tonight. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Somebody show of our liberty tonight. Let me hear your loud amen. amen. Can I tell you this? God cannot go beyond your faith to reach you. Do you believe that I, the son of man, maybe to do this? They say, yeah. Okay, according to your faith, be it done unto thee. So he reaches us according to our faith. Now, put your faith on the line. God has no greater force than the one we are administering tonight. It is God's last car in the battles of life. When the blood comes, the battle is won. When the blood comes in, the battle is won. Lift up your two hands. 
and demand your specific desired victory tonight by the blood. By the blood. Let's come in, please, and administer. If you can believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. In all the locations, please, ministers be around the table of the Lord right now. We're about to go. We're about to go. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, prove the validity of this mystery tonight in everyone's life. Let the intervention of the Passover blood be instant in everyone's life. Yeah. Silence the mockers tonight. Yeah. <laughs> it's your last card. But it's our victory. Prove it so this night. Yeah. Let no one return without a change of story. Let no one return without a change of story. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. May this be a takeaway of a lifetime. Yeah. May this be a takeaway of a lifetime. Yeah. It is done. Yeah. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the Passover blood. Even Christ, our Passover is sacrificed. Present tense, continuous, not past tense. Passover blood is for sprinkling, not for drinking. It's the same blood we take in the communion that we administer in the Passover. The same blood. No one has two kinds of blood. This is the blood of Jesus. Therefore, with your faith on the line, your case is settled. Yeah. Jesus, confirm your word in everyone's life. Yeah. Please connect with heaven. And as the blood comes upon your life, begin to give God thanks because your change has come. Amen. There shall be instant disappearance of growth. Amen. Pains will dissolve. Amen. Symptoms will disappear. Amen. The roots thereof will be cursed. Amen. When next you try, they will tell you those things are not there anymore. Amen. It's your night of victory. Amen. Jesus, honor your word in Jesus' name. Please get seated until you are administered to don't stand to your feet to join us while the choir continues to lead us. Who has the final say? I say, who has the final say? Who has the final say? What do you need to 